interest rate as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you credit life insurance. You don't really need it, but... It puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or... I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Every day, online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit CyberTipline.com. And we're back again. We thank you for staying tuned. We're talking to Paulette Davidson of uh, Love and Kenya, doing the work uh, here locally as well as over in Africa. And I think she has an event that's coming up in January. January 12th. Give us the date. Give us, give us the location. Um, I need the paper for the address. You need it a little bit? <laughs> yeah. You want me to read it? Yes, you can read it. All right. As I say, Love and Kenya, Fort Annual Banquet, uh, Friday, January 12th. Um, 2018 from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Fellowship Center, 1625 Annette Street, and that's in New Orleans, 70116. Uh, for, for, for more information, you can call Paulette Davison at 253-376-4335. 253-376-4335. Now, we were talking about that because I think you have some people that are working with you. I, I, did I mention uh, uh, Reverend Daryl Turner? Yes. And, and, and what, what is he doing for, 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 for Love in Kenya as far as helping, I think, the, 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 the citizens over Without there? Without a trip going over, you mean? Yeah, yeah don't he have... Oh, yeah. don't he have yes, he, his children, Children's Church, they uh, gathered up a container of shoes for children. And uh, he told me, uh, Miss Paulette, it's overflowing. If you have room in your containers, we can put some extra shoes. And I said, yes, but please just tell them to stop. Because, yes, we have a storage, but we just can't bring everything, you know, everybody want to give. But the children is not at this important. time. Not at this time. Y'all working, working right, on that. Because right. I, I, I know you talked about, um, I think when you go there, y'all purchase stuff. Here, but y'all also purchase things in, in, in Africa, right? Oh, yes, yeah. yes. And is it easy to carry? Because I, I think you told us that uh, a motorcycle is a taxi, and so uh, most of the time you can go to, what, the, the, uh, the neighboring city or, or the little town? Yes, well, we don't ride the, two, the motorcycles right. or the tutu, which is a, a minivan um, with, with no doors. No Ways. doors. And over, uh, overload of overload. people. Van hanging on, and people on. just that, that, and, and I mean that's that's just. But we don't ride that. We we ride in a van, or a truck, or a car, and uh, we do have a driver and, and that it, take he's us. He's carrying all of your cargo and stuff. Is it because I know in the past you brought camellia beans, right? Is that oh right? yes, yes. From, from from New Orleans, yeah, all the way to Africa. Yeah, yes, yeah, to yeah. to three different villages. Mm. But the thing about it, um, <clears throat> we have two cars sometimes because. Once, say I, I get in tomorrow night, and uh, the two cars that meet us, one will take all the luggage and one will take the people. And then the next day we'll disperse to say, this go to this church, that church. So it, it's three, four churches that we give to. And then the boys' orphanage, we have all boy clothes and shoes. So I think from Pastor Turner's church, it's mixed shoes, boys and girls. You so, have to do the sorting and separating. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But I, I won't even do that until we get there. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the boys' orphanage is one and the girls' orphanage is another. Mm -hmm. So, and then some might go go with us 
down where we go meet the children to sip the water. Maybe we could bring a a grocery bag, shopping bag, or whatever of shoes down there. Okay, so you, you, you're distributing it at different locations. Right. Oh, well, yes. What, okay. We're not just giving it well, to one house. Well, I just thought that it was like a, 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 a central distribution center where you decide that once we're here in, 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 in uh, Kangora or, or what's the other place? That, uh, that Lemuro. Or, or Lemuro. You say, okay, this <coughs> is where you come. You know how we do when we go. Yeah. You know, they got one central place. Hey, well, we come. do that with the beans, with the feeding. You right, know, right. If, if I'm going to feed uh, after church, you know, I'll say, come to our house. And then we fix the plates and then issue the food there. Now, how do you get that, that information out, that message out? Do you all do flyers? No, how do to get the it? church. W word them out. When we go to church, uh, pastor will let us make an announcement to say after church. But believe me, you don't have to make an announcement. They know you, you ask, they're going to follow you home. Are you serious? Yes, yes. It, it's anywhere from six so they, to they, ten, they, can determine, they follow you. They can determine when the stranger is in town. Oh, they know. They know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and then, like I said, word get around to say they're back. You know, they, now, that's Are they happy the to see you? Oh, very, very, very much, yes. I guess it's, it's kind of... And they know my name. They really know your they name? They know my name. Well, you don't correspond with them as far as, you know, sometimes people will write you letters. Uh, I get a call almost every day. Really? Every, every, at least three times, four times a week. Oh, that's I mean, nice. not the same person. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know, that's good. and it's one or two pastors that call me, but then it's a lady we call the housekeeper. She call you? Yeah. Oh, okay. She calls, so it's, it's a blessing to communicate with them. And I think I text three or four people because I have my ticket. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, I'm going back January 16th. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you've been going every year. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like you said, every year. And uh, you go at different intervals because uh, this year you went, um, uh, what month did you go in? Because you go, you're you going in 2018. Right. And, and sometimes you, 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 you've been there twice. I think we went in twice. 16 yeah. and came back in, I came back February in 17 uh, last year, mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. you know, 17. So even though... Um, but you won't be staying the whole month. This is, no, this, this I, no, I'm just going to have to believe God to send me back. This is a short trip because something else came up and... And I, I, I really, well, you, really you, wanted to you go. You got to come back because then, then you have your banquet. Because if you don't come back, who? Oh no, it's after the banquet. Oh, it's after the banquet. Okay. Yeah, the banquet okay. is uh, January twelfth, mm -hmm. and um, I'm leaving January sixteenth. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. And 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 you know the good thing about it is that, um, I, I guess, asking you from a perspective about the, the impact that you're doing. How do you feel that you, you, you're making a difference over there and doing this every year? And that's, that's your personal opinion. How, how do you think? I mean, I know you, from your perspective, you enjoy doing it, but are you really helping the, the, the indigenous people that you go and, and service? What's, what's your feeling oh, about that? I know and I can see that we are a blessing to them, uh, a big help. And um, it's just that, like you said, it, it's just so enjoyable to give, you know, whether it's there or here, but to know the need there and to see the joy on their face. They're so happy and, and rejoicing. And um, I, I just, I don't know how to explain it. I, I wish, I, I'm still wishing that I can go and stay a year. I know I can make a difference. Mm. I know I can make a difference um, in being there a year, uh, just the service. You know, then I'll get the opportunity to work in the hospital. You know, it's so much more I want to do, and I can't do it a month past so fast. Really? Oh, look, it's Christmas already. I mean, we're in December almost. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and this is how fast time is passing. I, I think most most of the time you went, it, it's been after the holidays, though. So, right, so you right. Never, I've never been for Christmas. Yeah, I've never experienced that Christmas. No, no. Uh, the, the weather is about 80, 90 degrees? It, the poncettas uh, grow year-round there. Are you serious? Pon I took pictures. Yeah, poncettas grow year-round. You can look out your bedroom window and there's poncettas. 
Well, I mean, all colors, different colors? No, the just, red. Just the, the red, red part, okay. yeah. Okay, because you know they, they have They the grow yellow. year round. But yes, the girl called me yesterday, my dressmaker. <laughs> she called me yesterday and she said, uh, you know, like, Madam, when, when are you coming? And I told her, and it's like, uh, how is the weather? She said, oh, it's hot. So, you know. But, but when you go there, it's always hot, right? No, yep. no. I, I always bring a coat. Uh, like California, it's it gets mild. warm and, it, and maybe chilly in the morning, hot at noon, and after five, you know. the Kind of cools the, off yes, a little bit? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so you need a sweater. Yeah. What, what about air condition? Because it, is it? Oh no, a, I don't know anyone with an air condition. <laughs> <laughs> no, not over there. They open their windows. I mean, what about even in the hospitals? Air condition? No. Okay. No, no air condition. It's mm -hmm. they open windows, open, open window, doors, open doors. <laughs> the chickens it's, run in the door and run out at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great experience. Yes, yes. You, you got to take more pictures uh, uh, this I mean, next year well, when you this go year, and stuff. Yeah, you excuse took, you took me. Some, some. No, a photographer is going with us. Is that right? Yes. Now, I think I think you're going to have something at the banquet. That's uh, is, is it the first time you're going to do it? Oh, yes. Okay. This is this will be our first time. We're going to do a solid auction mm -hmm. with um, four or five large uh, pictures from Kenya. And uh, we will have a photo booth, and we'll have a photographer there. And, um, you know, he'll be doing pictures. I don't know if he's going to video the, the banquet or not, but I know he does pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going with us to now, Kenya. Now, is that his first time? Going to Kenya? Yeah, which you know. Yes. And so, so this he, is not his first time working the banquet with no, us. No, no. Is that the yeah. same guy that worked the banquet with you in the past? Uh, the first man. year, or second year? Yeah. yeah, I think a young man out of, Howard. Out, of, out of Texas. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar yes. with him. Did a great job. Yeah. Uh, uh, took a picture of me and my dad and stuff like right. that together. Right. Stuff like that. Great job. Great. I still have that photo. I got to find it. I still have it. Uh, again. I have you on video. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> well, I'm that. some from the first yeah, banquet. Yeah. But I, I always like a keepsake, you know, like like a, a picture of, of, of the, the different years that, that right. we go to the banquet and stuff. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, time for us to go, and we, we want to thank uh, Paulette uh, for coming on and, and giving us uh, um, not only the information that she's given to us, but we want to thank her for the work that she's doing, and, and we want to uh, pray God's strength that she can continue on doing it. What a blessing uh, going and reaching out to, to people that are less fortunate and going out and giving them some of the things that they need just to survive on earth. Again, <clears throat> we invite you uh, to come on out uh, to, to, to True Love. You will always say go to a church of your uh, choice and worship the Lord. Uh, this Sunday at 2 o'clock uh, is our choir's anniversary, and uh, the, the Reverend uh, Charles Hughes of the New Zion uh, Baptist Church, uh, he will be our, our guest speaker. Come on out and hear the word. Come on out and be blessed. Come on out and make a, a, a joyful noise unto the Lord. Uh, until next time, we ask God's choices blessing upon you and keep praying for this ministry. Uh, God bless you until next time. This is our prayer.